Hello guys, today I want to show you a new feature that was released in Laravel 11.22 this week. So new feature committed and contributed by this guy, Samuel Levy. And this is eloquent inverse relations for has many and morph many relations to avoid n plus one query. And this is actually very similar to what Taylor showed on stage of Laracon US. To avoid n plus one query problem, he announced a method, this one with a weird name called chaperon. I had to even Google what that means and how it is pronounced. So this is the Google page and the meaning is accompany and look after or supervise and it's pronounced this way. So I do like much more the inverse word. In this case, it's much more understandable in my personal opinion. So what it does, what that inverse does and what problem does it solve? Let me demonstrate. I've created a really small Laravel project with user and posts, with user has many posts, and then there's relationship the other way around, post belongs to user. And then imagine you have to show a table, something like this. This is based on the example of Taylor from Laracon US. So we get all the users with the relationship and then you need to list the posts with relationship back to the parent. So in this case, post user would cause n plus one query. So if we launch that page and then look at our Laravel telescope, the amount of queries, as you can see, select from posts and then select from user each time for each post. In my case, I have five users and 10 posts seated. Side note, in this case, I'm using Laravel telescope to show the queries, but a trick from Taylor himself at Laracon, you can do same thing without any packages, without debug bar or telescope. You can use DB listen and inside you just dump to row SQL and see the query immediately on your web page. So yeah, we have those queries and to avoid those queries, this is exactly what inverse would do. So in the place of has many relationship here, you just add that you need inverse relationship. Just add inverse at the end. You may specify the relationship name like user relationship back, but this will be guessed by default. So you need to specify that relationship only if it's different from kind of standard belongs to single singular form. And now if we rerun the same query, let's actually clean up the telescope data and rerun that page again. I refresh and we have queries and we have only those. So we don't have that n plus one query anymore. Brilliant, right? Just one word, which solves quite a big issue. That said, the topic itself is pretty complex. There was a debate from May of this year, so it was like two months in the working that feature. So I will link the original pull request in the description below. So you may read all the discussion you can see. Not sure if you can see, but the scroll bar is pretty small. So a lot of discussions and there are a few more features like without inverse, if you don't need that in a particular situation. And then there's also, where was that? Potential risks, so this is important. There is a possibility, which actually existed before in Laravel, with circular object references causing infinite loop. Personally, I haven't encountered that myself, that situation in the years of working with Laravel, but you can still read about it to be, well, at least prepared for that situation if it does happen for you in the future. So yeah, great submission with a lot of likes and hearts from the GitHub community by, again, Samuel Levy. So thank you, Samuel, for that. What do you think about this new feature? Would it solve any real problems for you in your projects? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you want more news about Laravel Framework, which I happen to discover on Twitter and elsewhere pretty much every week with their new release every Tuesday, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.